Hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today I'm going to clean out my millworm farm. I'm going to want to clean all this out. This is the top drawer and it has a screen here, and you can check out my other videos on this to see how I built all this, but basically I'm going to clean out this drawer. Um, we have beetles and some of them that are still alive, like this one, there's still some beetles that are left in here. There's a lot of... Um, of uh, frass in here. It's all frass. They literally ate all the oats. So we're going to clean out this drawer and we're going to clean out this bottom drawer as well. So some of the tools you're going to need and I say tools I mean um, you know these these uh, sifters here but you're going to need some uh, organic uh, corn grits if you're going to use it. Um, I'm going to use it because they're, it's, it's smaller granules and when I, I notice when I'm sifting uh, this kind of stuff is a lot easier to basically sift through these and uh, the uh, oats, it works with the oats as well but the oats tend to clog it a little more and then I'm going to use a carrot for uh, water for them. These are the sifters I use. Now you can, you can do it by hand if you want but I mean uh, these sifters are great. Uh, each one of them has you know just a little bit bigger so uh, beetles won't get through this. Okay, so this will sift out beetles. This next one will sift out your feeders, your feeder uh, 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 millworms. And then your juveniles. And then eggs and very small worms. So um, if you want this sifter, I'm going to put it on the video here. You can, you can buy it from the link on there or you can, you can go and find it yourself. Um, and then you're also going to need a bucket so that when you're sifting, all the uh, frass and stuff can go inside this and then you can sprinkle that uh, around your garden it's super super good and super high in nitrogen and stuff so um, we're gonna go ahead and get started on sifting out the frass so there's all the frass and worms and dead bugs and all that so I'm just gonna give it a little sift So now, what we have in this top one here, is we have just nothing but beetles and dead beetles. And some worms, you want to get those out as best you can. So, there's some, they play dead when they move around and stuff, or when you move them around, so I'm just going to take that and put that directly into my top drawer. Now whatever whatever doesn't move here I'll know because they'll start to scatter. You'll see right now. See these smaller ones almost are getting through. Now you got these dead ones. So that's drawer number one. So I'm gonna screen all this out. See, that's just a pile of mostly dead ones, um, but you got some live ones in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to separate all the the live ones out. This will encourage them to basically crawl in there. So I'm gonna do a lot of this off camera, um, and then uh, I'll get back to you guys and show you some of the results. So here I am on the third one down. As you can see there's tons of millworms in there. And if you you just pick up the thing a little bit and then you kind of move it around like that. And see all that frass? It's really light. That's actually their shedding. So you just blow on them a little bit and it comes right out. See that? That's a whole lot of millworms. So you're never going to get them all out 100%. But there are thousands of worms in there. So I'm going to lay those into fresh oats. It's not that much. So I'll get to the rest of this and then I'll set it all up and show you guys what it looks like. Alright, now I put all the feeder worms down here. And, um, you know, a lot of them are smaller in this one. Um, but... 
you know, it's easy to pick them out as I need them um, versus, you know, packing them up and stuff. So this is how I do it. Everything that won't strain through that sifter, I'll put it basically in here. So this drawer is basically done. I just need to put food in here. And then this is where the babies go because remember, the top drawer has a screen and when the um, beetles lay eggs, they'll drop into this area and this is kind of going to be the grow up you know, area. Basically, I just take all the frass and I'll put it on the bottom. And the reason why I do this is because there is just thousands of um, thousands of them still in here, you know. And so frass is just something you're going to have to deal with, you know, unless you want to spend hours, you know, going over it and stuff. Uh, and that's with the sifter. So, um, so yeah, I just do it this way. So I put all the frass in there and stuff, you know, and then, um, you know, once every year or two I'll clean out the whole thing, but for now that's the way I'm doing it. So let me fill up the drawers and then I'll show you what everything looks like. Alright, so that's what it looks like. Smaller ones are in here. Adults in the top, lay eggs, go into this one. They grow up, sift them out, go into here. And uh, you just put down the uh, corn grits. Uh, which you can tell, see, these are going to be a lot easier to sift later on than the sifter. And uh, put a piece of carrot down, and they will all come to that carrot. So you don't need to chunk it up and put it all over the place. You just throw it right there, and they'll come and get it. It's like the dinner bell. <laughs> and then uh, I got a few beetles, so I'm just going to add this back. I don't add anything to the top drawer anymore because I noticed they still lay eggs through this screen. So that's how I'm gonna do it so that's it I won't have to mess with this thing for another probably year or two maybe and uh, the sifter is uh, coming in handy and it's uh, four stage you got the small stage you got this one then you got the next one up and then you got the beetle catcher basically this one catches beetles and mostly just beetles. So, and then you got a lot of frass that you can put inside your garden. So, anyway, please hit that subscribe button. Yeah, just follow the directions on the the uh, little clip I have at the end, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Um, glad to be doing these videos. Thousands of subscribers, crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, but I appreciate every single one of you guys. Any any questions you guys want to ask, post them below. Um, comments, post them below. Keep it clean. I don't have any cussing on any of my walls. Um, anyway, God bless you guys like always. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button to get all our video updates. Oh yeah, we do have other channels now, so please check them out. Like always, God bless. No, oh, you're still here? Go ahead and click on one of our other channels. We got a lot of stuff going on over there. Also, you can hit that big red subscribe button. I mean, it's just bam right there.